Hi, I'm Ben Joseph from Expella. Let me introduce you to Milu Odorless Toilets. Milu Odorless by Expella is an exclusive range of odorless toilets that eliminate bathroom odour at the source. With a patented inbuilt ventilation system, Milu Odorless quietly extracts odours from the toilet bowl and discharges them directly into the sewer before they can be released into the bathroom. This video will outline the installation process for the Milu Odorless back to wall toilet. Before installation, the Milu Odorless toilet must be installed by a qualified plumber in accordance with AS NZS 3500. Check the product thoroughly for any missing components or defects prior to installation. Tools required. We recommend to have the following tools available for the installation. Plumbing set out. The Milu Odorless back to wall toilet is suitable for both P and S trap waste configurations and back or bottom water inlet connection. Note that different product codes are required for back or bottom inlet configurations. The toilet is supplied with an S trap pan connector only. Follow the dimensions shown for setting out the waste and water inlet locations. Electrical rough in. The Expeller odor control fan is located inside the toilet system and is powered by a 12 volt power adapter. A 4 meter 12 volt extension cable is supplied with the toilet. This cable connects the power adapter to the expeller fan. Have a qualified electrician install a mains power outlet within 3.5 meters of cable length to the toilet. The power outlet should be accessible for future servicing of the 12 volt power adapter. Route the 4 meter extension cable from the toilet to the location of the mains outlet. Ensure approximately 300 millimeters of cable is available at the toilet to connect to the fan. Plug in the power adapter to the mains outlet. We highly recommend using the Expeller PIR motion sensor to automatically activate the odor control fan. Connect the 12 volt power adapter and extension lead to the motion sensor like so. The sensor mounting hole can be used as the access port for servicing the power adapter. Installing the pan connector, S-Trap. The toilet comes supplied with a universal S-Trap pan connector. Depending on the waste pipe, the pan connector may require cutting to length. If necessary, cut the pan connector to achieve the dimensions shown. Adhering to these dimensions is critical to avoid water and odour leaks. Lubricate and fit the rubber seals. Once fitted into the floor waste, ensure the pan connector is rigidly fastened to the adjacent wall and that the pan connector is level. Double check the measurements adhere to the required dimensions. Refer to the instruction manual for P-trap installation. To connect the odour ducting to the pan connector, lubricate the top and bottom of the flexible hose grommet. Insert the grommet into the hole on the top of the pan connector. Install the flexible hose ensuring a tight seal between the hose and pan connector. Installing the cistern. Install the cistern fastening lugs to the pan. Finger tight is sufficient. Place a sheet of protective cardboard on the pan and lay the cistern on top. Feed the flexible hose through the pan and out of the hole as shown. Connect the flexible hose to the underside of the cistern. Be careful not to over tighten the plastic nut. If using a bottom inlet water connection, route the hose through these holes in the pan and fasten to the underside of the cistern. Install the cistern sealing washer onto the underside of the cistern. Fit the cistern onto the pan. To access the cistern mounting screw, carefully move the expeller fan from the cistern by pulling the fan upwards. Unclip and remove the water inlet valve. Fit the cistern screws into place. Use a long Phillips head screwdriver to fasten the screws. Before tightening, adjust the cistern position such that it aligns with the pan. Tighten the screws, rigidly securing the cistern to the pan. Reinstall the expeller fan and water inlet valve. Push the toilet completely against the wall, engaging the pan connector. The fill and flush valves have been preset for correct water levels and must not be changed. Changing the levels will affect the odorless function. Install the back inlet seal. If using a back inlet stop tap, 
tear out sections of the seal such that it fits snugly around the tap. For back inlet water connection, connect the flexible water hose between the water tap and fill valve. Position the hose like so. Test the function of the flush and fill, checking for leaks. Connecting power to the expeller fan. Apply the supplied silicon grease to the O-ring on the 12 volt power cable connector. Plug the connector into the fan and check for operation. The fan will be audible. Fit the cistern lid. Fix the toilet to the floor as per AS NZS 3500. Installing the toilet seat. Install the rubber inserts into the toilet pan. Install the seat mounting posts by fastening the screws into the rubber inserts. Install the mounting post cover plates. Clip the seat onto the mounting posts. If required, adjust the position of the seat to align with the pan. For any inquiries, please go to expeller.com.au.